Considering that there's a lot of ads that air all around the world, it's not surprising to see some fall through the cracks of time. So, in today's episode, we're going to be covering seven lost ads. World Peace and Anti-Drug War This World Peace and Anti-Drug War war ad is a lost ad from the Telemundo Costa Central channel. Sorry if I butched that up. A Spanish-speaking channel in the U.S. dedicated to broadcast and broadcasting and producing content like Telenovela and and news to Spanish-speaking citizens based in the Costa Central part of the of California. That was between 2008 and 2010, and seems to have an anti-war theme to it. Bart casting. Bart casting was an event that took place on Fox Kids for a single day on November 2nd, 1996, to promote The Simpsons. Uh, up upcoming season at the time season eight during the event bart simpson had taken control of the fox kids satellite and was in control of the broadcasting this allegedly amounted to bart simpson hosting the regular kids shows line above cartoons that day and occasionally play some simpson clips during commercial breaks leading up to mobly to be a sneak peek of the season eight premiere Daft Punk Winter Olympics ad. Daft Punk is a French was a French house electronic music duo formed in 1993 and disbanded in 2021. They spawned many hit singles such as Around the World, One More Time, and Get Lucky. Around Around their discovery era, they were featured on some advertisements for Gap, Tuma, and others. One of their commercials was for the 2002 Olympic Winter Games. However, it is lost. Godzilla vs. Megalodon. In 1977, NBC broadcasted nationally in its prime time, Godzilla and Megalodon, 1973. It was the only installment of the Japanese Godzilla film franchise that have had this privilege. Since the film has goof, has a goof, goofy reputation, bumpers were filmed f- featuring Saturday Night Live actors and comedian John Bellish in a Godzilla suit. Valerie's Family Fire Prevention Ads. In 1986, a sitcom starring Value Valerie has her has a mother of three boys and a wife and on an air airline pilot entitled valerie debuted on nbc its 13 episode trial season was a success and renewed for another season which has equally been successful a third season has been greenlit but was just uh, starring production before hamper was involved in its salary dispute, resulting in it getting fired from the show. As a result, her character has been killed off in a car accident, and San- Sandy Duskan was brought to the as a as the boy's aunt, and the show was renamed Valerie's Family. <laughs>
Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. When Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius, the movie, was released in 2001, Nickelodeon interrupted their shows with humorous gags to promote the movie. One such gag supposedly had the audio track of on one of the Rugrats episodes changed. Other another one giving SpongeBob SquarePants cast the in the hairstyle of Jimmy's, and another one had confirmed to exist had a SpongeBob episode being made with puppets. At the moment, no footage exists due to it have been ra- airing on at random times. Only one low-quality picture of SpongeBob puppets gag currently exists, and was said to be taken from the se- the season episode one, Hooky, until that episode puppet in- interrupted er, interruption was found. Sport 2D. Now this entry is a little bit different because it's not an actual ad. It's more of a game to promote. So uh, back to the entry. Sport 2D was a flash game based on off the 2008 simulation game. Spore. It was created as an attempt to promote the Wii release of the game. Sport Hero in the training section of the game. Players could train their creatures by forcing them to deflect objects from totem poles. The more the creature leveled up, the more parts the player would unlock. Players could drag user-created creatures from the Sportopedia to be rendered in 2D form.